I'm Peter Loshek. We're talking right now with Robert Faringo from DocSports.com. Robert, thanks for being here this week. Thank you very much, Peter. I appreciate you uh, having me on. All right. The first game that uh, I sort of uh, that, that you picked out of the games that I offered you to um, to choose from Miami at Cincinnati. Cincinnati's a three point home favorite there. Uh, the total's 45. I'm thinking about Cincinnati minus three and the over 45. What do you think about that? You know, going into last week's game with Cincinnati traveling down to Jacksonville, I said to a handicapper friend of mine, I said, you know, I have a feeling that the Cincinnati team might be a lot better than I think this year and a lot better than people realize. And that's kind of the sense that I'm getting about this group going into into this week's game. I think this is a really good situation for them. Um, I know that they have been a terrible home favorite under Marvin Lewis and in the past. They've just been one of those shaky teams that always underperforms when they're expected to do well. I believe they're 4-11-1 in their last 16 games as a home favorite. Ouch. However, I think that this is a really bad matchup for Miami and a really good spot for Cincinnati. Miami is coming off back-to-back, emotionally draining overtime losses. And those were both games that they kind of gave away. Those are both games that they probably should have won. This is now Miami's third road game in four weeks, and I'm just not sure how much they have left in the emotional reserve. You compare that to Cincinnati, which is finally back at home after two straight really solid performances, wins both straight up and against the spread, on the road. Now they get to come home. They're getting a little bit healthier on defense and they get the boost of that home crowd. Uh, I think that this is a really bad matchup for Miami in the secondary on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Cincinnati is getting a little bit healthy. We should see um, Leon Hall this week and we should see Nate Clemens back this week for Cincinnati. So a lot was made about Cincinnati's defense through the first three weeks, how they were kind of underperforming, giving up a lot of points, but they were just mangled in the secondary. Again, slowly but surely getting healthy, getting a boost from the home crowd. You compare that to Miami's receiving weapons who can't really threaten the Bengals in that area anyway. So that's a check mark for the Bengals defense. And then on the other side of the ball, we, we all know about Miami's secondary struggles. And you compare that with just an extraordinarily potent Cincinnati passing game. A.J. Green, top five wide receiver. Uh, Bins, who's just a, a large mammal. He's a very good target and kind of an underrated number two. And then Hawkins, who I love, who's that real shifty, speedy, game-changing slot guy. So all of the matchups, both emotional, situational, and just strategic, seem to be working in Cincinnati's favor in this one. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And I'm thinking about maybe also the Cincinnati team total over, which at the moment would be about 24 because, uh, yeah, like you said, if Miami does come out and their offense is, is clicking on all cylinders, you'll still win uh, your bet if Cincinnati goes over 24. Yeah, I, I, you know, again, I didn't really have a, a strong feeling on this total, but all I know is I went back and watched, rewatched both games from last week, and Cincinnati really used kind of a B effort against Jacksonville, and they still won by 17. They still won very comfortably in what was kind of a letdown spot for them. And then one last point against my against Miami is that they have been performing very well against the spread. They are 11-3 and three against the spread going back to last year in their last 14 games, 23-9-1 and one on the road. They covered last week. They beat Oakland outright as an underdog, so they're 2-1 and one in their last three games. But Miami is getting everyone's C game. Like they've yeah. really had some situational factors that have worked to their advantage. So they've kind of played better than they actually are. They caught Oakland in a terrible spot making the cross country trip after their prime time game. Uh, you know, when they go out to Arizona, they're catching Arizona off a big win over Philadelphia and right before a game on a short week at a division rival in St. Louis. You know, they caught the Jets right after the Jets played the Steelers. So Miami is getting everybody's C game, and they're still losing these games. So, yeah, I like Cincinnati in a big way this game. I agree with you, Robert. Great analysis. Thanks.